Hi, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. Welcome. I'm going to do a reading. It's going to be chilling out. You're here with me in my bedroom. It's after 4 in the morning. It's probably 4.30 or something in the morning. It's pretty late. I am awake for you. But I am wearing the same clothes that I was earlier. I have not put on anything fancy. I have no props. I have nothing fun. My cat is asleep. And I'm just going to do this to be helpful and to help you help your situation and tapping into your own intuition, your own sense of what love and God and Holy Spirit, Christ energy, science, you know, symbols, angels, fairy spirits, sylphs, everything, whatever it is to you, whatever your discovery and your path is, and whatever nugget of truth has brought you into that aha moment of good. <laughs> Go with that. Start there and let let the let the veil unlift slowly, right? So, what do we need to know for Pisces? Highest, greatest good of everybody. All right, so Pisces, this is I really like this deck. This is the Art of Life tarot deck. I should know this by twelve, you know, but I sort of like the box. I like oh my, it was a trick. It's a very fancy box. And it's the tarot deck by Charlene Livingstone. So, one card for Pisces. Highest grid is good of everybody. That one. And that one is the Ace of Swords, Pisces. Breezing up. I like this picture. I got this for something somewhere that I did. I did look at this card. Breezing Up, A Fair Wind, detailed by Winslow Homer, 1873-76, to 76, National Gallery of Art, Washington, D.C., USA. Louisa May Alcott, okay? And it says, I am not afraid of storms, for I am learning to sail. got these little boys in a boat with the big guy here so he's teaching them how to sail this one's like riding along this one's looking at him being a little too comfortable checking out the wind maybe looking at some dolphins and this one's totally into whatever he says he's gonna be the first to be the captain he's like determined you know so they're all learning something but later on they can be like his crew on a big old yacht or something, you know? They can each have their own. They can each go out and then teach other people to sail their own ship. You're the captain of your ship, Pisces. Don't be afraid of storms. The storms make you have all those lessons to learn how to handle your boat. How to handle your sail. How to handle the waves that crash into you so you know how to ride them you know how to steer your wheel you know how to get where you have to go this is a brand new start this is the ace of swords this is that gift of a new start that makes you so excited to go to bed so that you can wake up early so that you can go out on that it's like that excitement. Maybe you haven't gone yet. Maybe you're thinking about this ship sailing along and getting there, you know. All right, let's see what else we have. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. Because you can even see the waves, how they're like, it's like tilting up, you know. It's got a little motor to it. What is this? 1873, it totally has some kind of motor. So they're going pretty fast, even with the sail, or I guess it's not a motor. I see it as a motor. So I see, I guess it's 1873. I don't know, do they have motors? I guess it's just how he's steering, and it is a sailboat. But they're going pretty fast. They're going fast. So the, something came at you fast. You're ready to go fast into your, your new adventure. This is being clear of mind. The, the winds are coming and just pushing you right where you need to be. It's like, in this one, it's not a sword. In this one, it's like, 
You get the gust of wind from God to push you into the boat that you needed to be with the right teacher at the right time, with the perfect weather and the perfect wind and the perfect sail and your perfect lesson so you can come out and be that perfect man or woman or whatever that you need just worked out for you somehow. This is like the start of the knowing that it's just going to be good. It's just going to be good. The winds are just going to blow you right where you need to be. And this is an ace. It's a start. It's a knowing that there's something you're able to. I mean, if I go into ace of swords of other decks, it's like you're able to cut out all the bullshit in your life. Just cut it out. What you don't need. You can't bring on that boat like too much luggage. It's not that big a boat. You're going to have a good time. You don't need all the shit, right? They don't have anything in there. They just have themselves. They just have their experience. They just have their lessons. They just have the things they take from it. And when they go home and they eat their fish, I don't even think they're fishing on this boat. So he just has his hat. They're just chilling in the sun and riding in the waves and having that experience, those stories between them, the laughs that they have. You know, maybe one falls off and that's like the best time ever and they got a fish him out and he's wet and they're dying laughing and it's good times they go back they sit they have some dinner and they're laughing about it again later five years they laugh about it again later five years they laugh about it again they had the experience this is that experience and this is you knowing you're going to have that experience pisces all right so what kind of experience are you going to have what is this storm i mean you're not afraid if you're diving in you know that what you get involved with will take you where you need to be and you'll be okay regardless. You'll, you'll, you're always okay. Pisces, we're all children of God. We are all always protected. Spirit is always on our side. Always. It's always looking out for us. Spirit and truth is never there to harm you, to knock you down. And uh, to put you in a place that's of any lower vibration other than um, having you where you need to be so that you can lift higher. You have to see the dark, the ground, the earth, the, the, the flip side. You have to see the other side sometimes so that you know where you're going, where you know you don't want to go down, how you know how to navigate not to go towards the storm and how to know where the storm is and go the other way or to like test the wind, you know, and see where the wind's blowing to just judge at that moment that you're at where to turn your sail and you're good. You're learning how to sail your ship. You'll, you're going to be okay. No matter where you go, no matter what big wave comes and no matter what storm blows. Oh, that jumped. Virtue. That was the three. I have one more deck here. I want to do this one too. I don't want to run out of time. This is the three of wands. This is your ship coming in as well. This is like you have what it takes, Pisces. You've got it. That you have the choice. Whatever comes your way, you can choose. They all want to work with you, and you can choose to work with all of them. You could cho choose to work with one, two, three, whatever you want. What is virtuous for you? What path is virtuous for you? Who do you want on this boat with you? Who is, who are, who are the people you want to have these experiences with? Is this a job? Is this a relationship? Is this a path? Is this a spiritual fire? Is this a direction? This is creation. It's three. It's the sun and it's Aries. So this is one person, another person. And then the third thing being something completely new. This is how I interpret this. It's spiritual. It's like a flame underneath. And you have these three lotuses that came from somewhere dark. Maybe like these dark waters, you know. And then there's this fire and it's like there's this beauty in it. But it's Aries and it's sun. The sun, big, being first, grabbing it and doing it, going. Stepping forward, understanding this is your spiritual path that you were given. You're going to do it virtuous. You're going to have the teachers you need. You're going to have the, you know, the deckhands you need. When you're older, you're going to be the best captain of your ship ever because you had consciousness of your lessons 
You had consciousness of everything you've been through. You remember your memories. You had your experiences. You're on your journey. Wands. Aries is diving in, man. Diving in, letting your sun shine. Virtuous about it. Be virtuous. You know, own yourself. Own your integrity with every decision you make. And you will make the right decision every time. Pisces, one more. This is the, by the way, new. It's the Native American Tarot deck. Instructions by Magna and J.A. Gonzalez. Okay, one card, Pisces. This Pisces need to know highest, greatest good of everybody involved. This is also, by the way, I'm pulling. I don't if I forgot to mention it. I've I've done the videos a bunch of times. Oh, oh we have three. Okay, three. We can do this. So this is for April 27th week of and or whenever it comes to you. You have this. This is mockery. This is 10. This is ending. This is either you going out, being where they all smoke these pipes, right? And you decide to go out on a journey and come home wearing a pink coat. Instead of the mohawk in your TV back there, you put on your top hat and you got your hair in a nice, awesome, like, dread thing going on. Maybe you'll go back to mohawk later. You're not worried about mockery. This is a 10. You're over that. You're going to wear your pink coat proud. Perhaps you had it hidden in the closet for a while. You were afraid to bring it out because you're afraid of what all these people always smoke their pipes. They never saw a cigarette. When you went on that journey, you came home with weird shit. Nobody is going to know who you are. If you are this in the pink coat, you own it. And you don't worry about the mockery of those around you. I just got this for Aquarius too. You're the eagle. Inside the eagle, you have a rocket ship in your heart. Right? You have this rocket ship in your heart, and then you have this moth. Right? And the moth becomes an eagle. With these stars in his eyes and his wings. Around the eagle is this blue butterfly. Spirit, uh, like spirit and uh, healing and, and uh, peace and emotions. Right? And then the sunshine the outside, it's like a monster on the outside. There's layers of it. These prickers were below. It knows to not stay on them. There's some roses, yellow flowers, and it lifts off the prickers, right? Like a rocket ship. This is nine. This is like coins of abundance falling in on you. You got the sun. You got the sun. Light's on you. Spotlight is on you, Pisces. Never worry about this if you're being yourself. If you are living in virtue on your journey and you're enjoying this journey and this boat ride every moment, living virtuously, showing your inner light of your abundance, your sunshine. This is others noticing you, noticing your beauty. Your beauty, Pisces. This is other people seeing how beautiful you are in your pink coat with your dreads and your top hat by your TV. Maybe you went somewhere and you came back and they never saw anything like that before. You are different. This is the ending of your worries. Don't worry about a mockery when you can own this. Beam sunshine who you are. Be this little kid laughing in the under the under the, you know, the calendar sun. Native American tarot card with his mom. Just laughing in the sun, being himself. Being himself exactly who he is. That's going to put the spotlight on you. That's going to make you abundant. That's going to make these coins of abundance start to fall from the sky for you in your life. On your journey. You're like the phoenix rising in your rocket ship. Off of your... Off of your prickers as this abundance is falling. All right, one more for Pisces. Highest, greatest good of everybody. Pisces. What do we need to know for Pisces? This is the Wisdom of the Oracle card. What card? Colette Baron Reed. Pisces. Building blocks. Never let your buildings become blocks. Make them become buildings and skyscrapers to who you are and stand on that fucker like a pillar and say, I love you. 
I am awesome. I am sparkling in my sunshine of who I am because I'm a Pisces and I'm beautiful and I can do anything.